shifting the airplane CG. The same procedure for shifting the CG by moving weights can be used to change the CG of an airplane by rearranging passengers or baggage. Consider this airplane. Airplane empty weight and empty weight center of gravity. 1,340 pounds at positive 37. Maximum gross weight, 2,300 pounds. CG limits, positive 35.6 to positive 43.2. Front seats 2, positive 35. Rear seats 2, positive 72. Fuel, 40 gallons at positive 48. Baggage maximum, 60 pounds at positive 92. The pilot has prepared the chart with certain permanent data filled in and blanks left to be filled in with information in this particular flight. For this flight, the 140-pound pilot and a 115-pound passenger are to occupy the front seats, and a 212-pound and a 97-pound passenger are in the rear seats. There will be 50 pounds of baggage and the flight is to have maximum range, so maximum fuel is carried. With this loading, the total weight is less than the maximum of 2,300 pounds and is within limits, but the CG is 0.9 inch too far off. One possible solution would be to trade places between the 212-pound rear seat passenger and the 115-pound front seat passenger. Use a modification of the basic weight and balance equation to determine the amount the CG will change when the passenger swaps seats. The change in CG equals weight shifted multiplied by distance it is shifted all over total weight. If we substitute it, it would be 212 minus 115 times 72 minus 35 all over 2194. It would be simplified to 97 times 37 all over 2194. The answer would be 1.6 inches. The two passengers changing seats move the CG forward 1.6 inches, which places it within the operating range. This can be proven correct by making a new chart incorporating the changes.